today's brief video, I want to share with you guys one of the most important shifts in mindset that I had when it came to quitting smoking weed. And that shift in mindset has to do with the conversation that's going on in between your two ears in your brain. If you're new to the channel, my name is Dr. Frank. I'm the founder of Addiction Mindset Recovery Coaching Programs, which are dedicated to helping people quit nicotine, THC, energy drinks, and adult media content, substances I once struggled with. If you want a free seven-page PDF on quitting cannabis, check out the pinned comment or the video description below. You can also learn more about our paid coaching programs. Who told you that you can't quit smoking weed? Who told you that you're not capable of? Who told you that? Because I didn't tell you that. People who support you didn't tell you that. People that are rooting for you didn't tell you that. Who told you that you can't quit? Who told you that quitting is impossible? Who told you that you don't have the discipline, the grit, the perseverance, the motivation, the drive to quit. Who told you that? It's you. It's how you talk to yourself. That is a conversation that you had with yourself. It's a conversation that occurred in your own brain between you and the addictive voice in your head. If you tell yourself you can't, there's a good chance you're right. But the moment you start to shift the conversation around quitting, the moment you decide to take control, the moment you decide to choose to have a different conversation, a different dialogue between the thing that exists between your two ears, your brain, everything starts to change. Because the only person telling you you can't do it is you. And if you don't believe in yourself, there's nothing that's going to pull you out of this. Unfortunately, we got ourselves into these situations. It might have been from horrible life circumstances. It might have been from trauma. It might have just been for fun. There might have been nothing else behind it except that at one point, you were having a lot of fun smoking weed. And at the end of the day, it's you who's going to have to get yourself out. Now, you can reach out for support. You can talk to therapists. You can do coaching programs. You, I encourage you to do all those things. Those are all things that I did. But at the end of the day, how I spoke to myself about my addiction was what got me to quit. I went from saying, I can't, it's impossible, maybe another day to saying, no, right now, today. Today is the day I quit. I can quit. I'm going to quit. I am quitting. I changed the conversation in my brain. And I quickly reminded addiction, I quickly reminded my brain who was in control? Because my thoughts don't control me. If my thoughts controlled me, I wouldn't be posting this many YouTube videos. I'd be tired on a couch, watching TV, zoning out, doing very little, believe it or not, even though I am a pretty highly motivated person. It's, it's getting back control of your own brain. And this is one of the biggest blessings that I think people in recovery receive, people who have quit substances, people who quit smoking, quit drinking, quit taking pills. They learn how to control the conversation that's going on in their own head. And only you can control that. Other people can try and influence it. Other things can try and influence it. But only you can control that conversation, whether it be in a negative direction or in a positive direction. And once you learn how to do it with addiction, Oh my gosh, you can apply that to so many aspects of your life. How many people told me we would never have a YouTube channel? How many people told me weed is an addictive? How many people told me this was a bad idea for me with a doctorate of chiropractic to go online publicly and talk about addiction? Hey guys, my name is Dr. Frank. You may recognize me from TikTok or Instagram at Doc Frank here. And I want to welcome you to the Addiction Mindset YouTube channel. So I'm really excited that you joined and I just want to start by explaining the premise of this channel. So if you, the big difference is I never told myself that. I said, no, we're going to make this a success. We're going to talk about it. I'm going to share my story. I'm going to help people. We're going to change people's lives. We're going to shed light on this topic. 
It's the conversation that I've had with myself. And I learned that conversation through my recovery and sobriety process from quitting cannabis. I am in control of what goes on up here, not external factors. And addiction has hijacked that conversation from you. And arguably, this is one of the worst side effects of addiction, the perceived loss of control of your own mind. We always say, oh, you hear someone die from dementia or Parkinson's or Alzheimer's, which are horrible diseases. The person literally loses control of their their mind. I don't see addiction as that different. We've lost control of our behaviors. We've lost control of our decisions. We've lost control. There's nothing worse than losing control of what goes on up here. So if you haven't been taking it seriously, I now is your chance. Now is your chance to reframe the conversation and take it in a whole new direction. If that's something you need more help with, check out the pinned comment or the video description to learn more about our addiction recovery coaching programs. I hope to speak with you soon.